Well, it's our first day of planting corn. And I haven't got any in the ground yet. I'm just getting ready to head out. I'm backing up to my nurse tank so I can get some liquid fertilizer. And I think that's far enough. We'll go take a look. Oh yeah, that ought to fit. It's always amazes me. This corn comes in on a trailer, a small trailer, on a few pallets, and I pick it up bag by bag, loading the corn planter. And when we harvest, we take it out of the field semi-truck by semi-truck. It's an awesome multiplication factor on how much you can get per kernel. Holly normally helps me if she's around, but she was occupied with her flowers beautifying the house that's okay it's early in the year and i feel pretty fresh and strong but it sure is neat that i can glance up from my work and see her contemplating on how to plant the flowers i put one bag of corn in every hopper that was 12 bags for 12 hoppers and now i gotta go around and put one more bag in each hopper so i'm at 24 total Before I go, I send Chloe and Katie back up to the house to work with Holly on the flowers so they're out of the way of the tractor leaving the driveway. We are loaded up and we are heading out. Finally, after all this time, getting the corn in there, the fertilizer in there, Everything is uh, completely adjusted. Hopefully we have no problems. Hopefully we can plant about 60 acres with what I got in here right now. So we're on the road and we got about 60 acres we can plant with what I got in the back of the corn planter right now. Got my dog Lexi with me. Got a bunch of junk food, mm, healthy junk food some drinks and we are gonna start planting for 2024 hopefully we have no issues wow looks like we hit almost 34 miles 34 miles per hour we got He's loving it. I don't know if everybody that plants corn feels the same way that I do right now, but it is, I feel like I'm going to run a marathon or some, some big event. I'm like, I got a nervous stomach. Um, 
I'm pretty good at planting corn, pretty good at operating all this, and doing it for years. It's one of my favorite things to do, and I think I do a really good job at it. But every year, I you only do it for a couple weeks a year, so the first time, the, the first time of the year, it's always very nerve-wracking for me. You have to relearn how to do everything. And I just, when you plant corn, you don't know for a week or more if it even worked. So you could be planting all week for nothing because you don't have something set right. Now there's a lot of monitors that I have that will tell me if corn's coming out, but I still have to know that I have it a certain depth. Probably one of the saddest things I've ever seen right there. There was a guy and a bunch of kids sitting there on a gravestone with the balloons like it was somebody's birthday. Kind of a reality check right there. I got a real nervous stomach and we are ready to start planting for the year. I'm gonna drop it down. I think I got everything ready. everything there. Roll 11. Problems. That's so far what I did right there. Yo, Lexi. to be more spring loaded that allows the uh, see now corn's coming out now almost forgot to drop my row my row cleaners watch some little 
silver things come down, see? Now they're coming down, now they're, they're cleaning my rows. I got little fingers that throw the old corn stalks and corn cobs and crap like that out of the way. There. The rest of the night planting corn went very smooth. And I got a real treat toward 11 o'clock at night. In the middle of the field, I got to witness the northern lights. This year, northern America, especially in my area, was able to see it due to the clear weather. And let me tell you, it was stunning. I've seen this a few times in my life, and it's always just so unreal. The colors that can come out of the sky. It's like you're looking out of a rainbow. It can be still or it can flash across the sky like a river. It is completely awesome.